that it looks like life after football for Romo. So far, amazing. Yeah, pretty cool last night. The city honoring him. Obviously, uh, Mark Cuban behind this, this theatrics at the Mavs game. We didn't see some of his other shots. The fadeaway air ball against Dirk while he was guarding oh, him. Oh, come on, Ryan. We didn't you show that kill. one. But, hey, the guy's an athlete. <laughs> Clearly, he's played his share of pickup basketball, which now we know is big in the Maggie ranking of uh, how to find out about a guy. Yeah, I guess. no, how do you tell about a man? You tell how he plays pickup basketball. Ryan, I think life for Romo post football may actually be better than when he was occupying the most high profile position in sports, and that is being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, look at what's happened so far. He walks into the number one broadcasting team at CBS. He's not going to be calling any Jaguars games or Browns or Bills games. He's going right to the top best games. He's already got a new blazer. We saw that in the uh -huh. photo as well. Now he's getting honored at the Mavs game. I think that actually life after football will be better for Tony Romo. He doesn't have to get hit anymore, and he walks around like a hero. I would love to walk into an arena or basically anywhere and tell someone, Insert name of city, I love you, and have them yeah. cheer. This is like stuff that rock stars do. And Romo was getting, you know, a, a standing ovation. Well, level. clearly Romo was very comfortable. He found himself in a spot he spent a lot of time in last year, and that was on the bench for the Mavs last night he instead of on in the court. They... Even though uh, Cuban <laughs> wanted him on the court, the league wouldn't allow it. Uh, will it be better post-career? Yeah, I think physically, absolutely. No threat of any more back injuries, collarbone injuries. He's safe as far as we know, but I tell you, the media, a lot less glamorous than the world of playing quarterback for the most popular franchise in all of sports. I, I don't know if the, the spread in the CBS production meetings is going to be quite up to par with what Tony is used to getting as QB of the Dallas Cowboys, yeah. and he's, he's hanging out with Jim Nance. So, I don't know. <laughs> you know cool. I'm, I get, I'm interested to see how he transitions over, Mac, because I've interviewed him. I think you've spent time with him, too. I found him to be very... Laid back. Yeah, he's laid, laid back, back on TV. I don't know if that translates well, all that great. This is what I liked about the little six seconds of speech that he gave to the uh, the folks at the Mavs game. He was self-deprecating. He was like, this is embarrassing. I realize I'm not actually part of the team, even though we got a team photo and he was able to be there for the game. <laughs> but he was a little deprecating. I think if he uses that approach when he goes into the broadcast booth, he's going to instantly disarm everyone. He's going to win everybody over. After watching that, I'm actually more of a believer now that Romo's post-football career is going to be just nothing but sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, hopefully he has some fun with it. Obviously, he knows the game. And from the quarterback perspective, who better to talk about the X's and O's in a big game than a guy who's played in big games like Tony Romo has? It should be very interesting, though. It's the spotlight, the, uh, the uh, Monday morning, I guess, quarterbacks are going to be watching Romo every Sunday and yeah. uh, picking him apart. I don't know. After seeing that, I think he's going to be okay.